Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are going to discuss another problem today. Problem is maximum product of splitted binary tree. Very easy problem. So in this problem, we are given root of binary tree. Split the binary tree into two sub trees by removing one edge. So we have to remove one edge such that so if we remove this edge right, this is will be one sub tree and this hole will be another sub tree. Such that product. So the product of sum of the subtrees is maximized. So sum of this subtree and sum of this subtree, their product, sum, uh, product of the sums should be maximum. That is, product should be maximum. Return the maximum product of sum of two subtrees. So we have to return modulo this 10 raised to 1 9 plus 7. Okay. So let's see. Here, three six. Huh. So let's say if we are removing this edge, if we are removing this edge, so this will be one sub tree, and this will be another sub tree. So product of this sub tree, a sum of this sub tree is what? Two plus four plus five, which is eleven, and sum of this sub tree is what? 1 plus 3 plus 6 which is 10. Now the product of these sums will be 11 into 10 which is 110. This is the maximum product which can be there. So output is 110. Uh, if you take some other, uh, let's say we are taking some other edge. For example, um, let's say we are removing this edge. So this will be 1 sub 3 this orange one and this will be the second subtree. So in that case, what will be the sum? 6 plus 3 is 9 multiplied by sum of this, which is 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 is 12. So 12, 9 is what? 1, 0, 8. But 1, 1, 10 is greater than 1, 0, 8. So anyway, this will be the, this is the maximum product. So output is 1, 1, 10, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so this is the problem. You can see that second test case also. We just have to remove one edge. So when we say we have to see guys, we do not have to return the tree or we have to don't we, we do not have to return the sub trees. We just need to return the maximum product. So when we are saying when we are saying that we have to remove remove one edge. So it does not mean like we have to like literally remove one edge. We just have to Assume that okay, if we are removing this edge, what is the sum of this subtree and what is the sum of the rest of the tree, like the rest of the tree which is left? Okay, so just pause the video and think what you can do. I'll meanwhile write one, two, three, three again. So four and five and six. So see. Assume, assume you have the sum of the entire tree. Sum of the entire tree is what? 1 plus 2, 4, 5, 3 and 6. So sum is entire, sum is uh, 9, 9, 14, 4, 18, 21. Okay. Now, let's say we are given root of the tree, which is 1, right? This is the root of the tree. So let's say assuming I know the sum of this subtree. So this is, I'll get some of this subtree from here. Some of this subtree I'll get here. This left subtree. When I'm at the root, I'll get the sum of the left subtree. Okay, which will be 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 5, 11. Now I am assuming, I am assuming that I'm going to remove this edge. So if I'm going to remove this edge, this will be one subtree which will be there. And some I know. Because sum is being returned from here. So I know the sum of this subtree. And if I am removing this edge. What will be the rest of the tree? Rest of the tree will be this. That is the second subtree. But what will be the sum? Sum will be. Sum will be what of this subtree? The second subtree will be total sum. Minus sum of this subtree. Right? Do you agree on this? So, this will be the uh, sum of the second subtree. 
so this is what approach we will we will follow we will be as we'll assume that okay if we are going to remove this edge this will be the sum and what will be the rest of the tree sum rest of the sub tree which will be there rest of this the sub tree its sum will be total sum minus the sum of the first sub tree first sub tree okay so let's do one thing let's dry run once uh, i hope you understood the approach if you understood the approach try to write code once uh, if you are clear with the dry run if you want to see the dry run then you can like proceed otherwise if you want to see the code you can proceed to the code part 3 6 okay so see what we will do we will first of all let's say first of all i have run i have a dfs i have run a dfs here in the tree uh, dfs to find out the total sum of the tree so i know the total sum of all the nodes which is 21 i know the total sum so i am at i am here at root what i will do i will call basically whenever you are solving tree problems you imagine that you have the root this is the left sub tree this is the right sub tree you have to work on the root and the rest of the thing left work recursion will do right work recursion will do you have to work on the root all right so i have to work on this one rest of the thing i'll get from the recursion so what we'll get from recursion we'll get the sum of the sub tree from recursion so let's say from sub recursion we are getting 11 as the sum and from this here 9 we are getting from recursion i am assuming that recursion has done its work and i am getting the sum okay now what my work is what i have to do on the root i will be checking that okay for example if i remove if i remove this edge then what will be the product i will have a variable answer initialized to 0 answer will be what is equal to maximum of current answer whatever it is and if i remove this edge that is the left sub uh, the, the root with uh, the edge which is joining the root and the left sub tree if i remove that edge one sub tree sum will be this 11 which i am getting from recursion multiplied by the rest of the tree sum rest of the sum rest of the sub tree will be this one so its sum will be 21 total sum minus this 11 or if i think of removing this edge if i remove this edge that is the right edge right uh, the edge which is joining the root and the right sub tree then 9 is the sub tree sum which i get from recursion so 9 multiplied by 21 minus so if this is one sub tree this will be the rest of the sub tree this one so 21 minus 9 so this will be my this could, this will be my answer so maximum of currently answer is 0 comma like answer will populate here but like right now it's 0 so uh, 11 multiplied by 10 9 multiplied by this will be what uh, 12 okay so basically 110 108 and maximum so whatever maximum is 110 hence that will be the output so basically this is how you have to think so obviously whenever what will be the base case if root is null so what will be the sum what is returned returned is what sum sub sum of the sub tree right if your root is only null that is there is no root then sum will be obviously zero so if root is null return zero this will be your base case so i hope you understood the problem what we are doing let's see the code once will be more clear so this is the variable which will store the answer we will return this answer modulus 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and total sum is the uh, sum uh, variable which is storing the total sum total sum of the tree okay total sum we will run a dfs to find out the total sum so dfs is like if root is null return 0 otherwise calculate the sum of the left sub tree calculate the sum of the right sub tree and the add the root sum also uh, root value also so how we calculate the sum of a tree if this is your tree right if this is your tree you will get the left sub tree sum 
you will add that left subtree sum plus right subtree sum plus the root value that also is in the tree right so this will be your total sum of the tree total sum so this is what we are doing here to find the total sum and we are returning that sum so here we will get the total sum of the tree once we got the total sum of the tree now we will run dfs again to populate this answer and this answer will be what this answer will be whatever the current sum is so basically what we are doing here we are like basically here if we have the answer uh, we'll be calculating we will get the current sum right so current sum will be basically we are thinking that if this is the node which we have right we will take this as whole subtree and the rest of the subtree will be this sum minus the total sum this will be the second subtree okay so current sum which we get total minus current sum multiplied by current sum this will give you the answer and we'll returning that okay so basically what we are doing is if we have this with the, we have this tree we are taking this as one subtree sum one subtree sum and the second subtree sum will be total sum minus this sum and multiply both of them to find out the maximum product so i hope you understood the problem and the approach and uh, time complexity is o of n plus o of n why we are because we are doing two traverses of the tree where n is the number of nodes in the tree okay so we are doing two traverses one to find the sum and one to find to populate this answer so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you